Alright guys, welcome back to Project Portsmouth. This is Season 7, Part 5, I think. Same day, I'm recording the same day, uh, about two hours later, once I've got through the games and done other things, because I have a life, you may not believe it. Um, I'd be surprised if you did believe it, considering that I upload all the time and I work 40 hours a week. So, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't believe me. Anyway, what am I talking about? We are talking today about football, and specifically football manager. So, we played four games since the uh, Man United lost. A very disappointing loss. I think we deserved to do a bit better. Um, unbeaten again. We're conceding quite a lot of goals, though. I keep switching between a DM and a cam. I'm still not 100% certain. And I do sometimes switch between the Gagan press and control. Sort of mid-game if one's not going very well. Excuse me. So, we had a first game against Norwich. Had a lot of the ball. A lot of opportunities. We were actually... Well, excuse me, I just had a Fanta. Um, I believe that our match stats don't represent the game. I feel like we absolutely smashed this game, and a 2-1 win is very unfortunate. I feel like we... Obviously, we were 2-0 up, and then they scored late on. But I feel like we deserve to absolutely whitewash this game. We were all over them. You can see, first goal just before half-time. Renato Augusto, he passes it to Vinicius Juno, smashes it in at the far post. He does a little bit here and there, but not quite enough, and uh, McKenna gets the second goal of the game. And unfortunately, it's his mistake that gifted Jonathan David the goal. I mean, not great all-round defending, but McKenna should never have given the ball away there. But a nice little, uh, another three points. We then play Southampton in the league, who we're playing in this episode. Uh, two will draw. Uh, this game we played with a DM. I'm actually going to go with a DM again. Um, maybe it's a bit risky to repeat. Oh, I want to play bet. Uh, no, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to put in a, I'm going to go with a cam rather than a DM. Um, in this particular one, we had, they went up for a penalty, uh, we then went 2-1 up, and then we got own goal. Not ideal, um, especially against our big rivals, but a point is a point. I keep reiterating this, nearly every episode, we've got to take every single point we get. You know, some points we do expect to be winning, but if we don't win them, it's fine. It's still a point, Caruso have a nice goal, and uh, Lukima here, it's quite unfortunate really, it's all bounced off his head. But, you know, a point's a point. Uh, then we've got another point against Bournemouth. And this is a game where, we again, we had a lot of the ball. We had a few good uh, good things going on here. But we probably a draw is probably a fair result. Um, they had a couple more sort of... Uh, well, a lot of their shots were from outside the box. You know, we, we didn't, from what I could see in terms of the highlights. I don't think we did too badly. Um, obviously, it's a good cross, good header to get their first goal in the first half. About an hour into the game, Biokov just runs through the whole team. Slots it away very, very nicely. Um, another draw. Then we played Norwich. Obviously, we literally just played them. Uh, we play, played them in the FA Cup this time. So, there two 2-1 two wins against them. Uh, bit of a rotated team. El Mac, Hoover, Intender, Mristelli, Fernandez. You know, some of the players you don't expect to see all the time. Bayakov has got unreal stamina. You can just keep playing. And it was a good game. You know, it was a pretty even game for the most part. Our defenders played really well going forward from like set pieces and just general play. First goal came from uh, Bayakov there. Oh, blimey. Um, and then Rafa from Samuel's knockdown. So they got two centre-backs, got an assist and a goal, and uh, it looks like Rafa gave the ball away. Niang. But it doesn't matter. We got the win. We're through to the fourth round. We're going to be playing against um, Grimsby or Coventry. So there should be a guaranteed win, obviously Coventry being our affiliate club. But like I said, in this episode, we have Southampton. Now, I want to show you the things I'm trying to do in the window. We've got a couple of players I want to sign on a pre-contract. We've got Alexis, a goalkeeper from Real Madrid. Uh, he'll be coming in on quite a lot of wages, probably like 25k, I think. Um, but I think it's worth getting him in. I think he'll be good to loan out. Uh, we can maybe see what happens with him. Uh, we've accepted a couple of offers to loan out Thompson. Uh, we've also got this guy who I want to bring on a free... Mainly, he's so good going forward. 18 crossing, 16 dribbling. Good pace. A couple of... Mental stats are a bit weak overall, but I think he'll be a good player, even if one of those players that we sort of loan out and sell on for a profit. And we've got this guy. Now, I'm really excited by this guy. I hope he's had so many offers in for him. He has had all these teams made an offer to end the contract. Um, but there's a couple of... Biggish teams in here, you know, Wolves. Um, I guess Werder Bremen are pretty good. Bayer, uh, Olympic Marseille, but I think we'll be okay. Um, 
He looks insane. He's already insane. He's worth 15 million despite his contract being up at the end of the summer. Spirited individual, not the best personality trait, but pretty good. Um, shoots from distance. His long shots are really good, actually, 16. Comes deep to get the ball. Arrives late in opponent's area. Like, I'm liking his entire... I'm liking this. And he's the sort of... I bet he'll be worth 30 mil when we get him in. And I'm, I'm confident we'll get him in because I've upped his contract quite a bit to 80k. I, I keep upping his contract. And uh, I'm liking what we're, going, what we're doing with that. So we've got three players. I don't, re I haven't seen anyone listed or anyone I really think we should go for now. Uh, the only one I really want to get is Ansu Fati, but we're not going to be able to get him. He's, he, they want about six, well, 60 mil or something for him. Um, I could keep trying it, and but the thing is, he's, he's, he's got a release clause. No, he doesn't have release clause. I just, I can't see him uh, wanting to leave. Newcastle are interested in him as well, but... You know, I'll offer 35, they want 85, it's not happening. Um, so in this episode, we have... We've only literally played two two days ago in the game, so we are a little bit tired for the most part, but we've got a couple of players who could probably start. I had a look at the team, and I think it's ready to go-ish. Oh, we're going to put Renato Augusto up there. I've tested out wingers rather than inverted, um, inverted wingers, just because it, our wingers don't seem to be doing that much as of late, although they are some really good players. Um, it went all right, I guess. We've, um, we did not really won. We only you know, one, two, drawn one. Um, but I think we'll be all right. I think uh, I do want to play for set pieces because Lopez is good at set pieces. So put him as a support, deep line playmaker, and let's get into the game now. We are playing a quite well, a fairly weakened side, I guess. Not really, but sort of. Is it ish? It's not even that weak, to be honest. I put a weak side against Norwich. Um, so it's not that weakened, but we've got a few players missing. Um, obviously, we've got a couple of players joining us in January that we've just had in. That's Suzuki, who's our left-back slash centre-back. Uh, let's hope not concede here. Oh, we do. Piamonte is a good player. Actually, let me just take you through our sign-ins um, that we have already done. So we have... Oh, yeah. Mila, do you know what? This guy, I think I'm going to move him to the first team already. I think he'll probably start the next game, to be honest. I completely forgot he went into under-23s. And we've got Suzuki, who's not particularly amazing. He's on quite a lot of wages, but we'll be able to sell him on for a few million, if not more, give by the end of the season, if not a year's time. He's a good little investment. He's 22, so he's not going to improve massively, but, you know, he's profit at the end of the day, isn't he? <laughs> Excuse me. Bit of a block nose. Obviously, we've got some work to do now. We're 1-0 uh, down against the rivals, but we've got a good team. You know, but I think Bar, Bar or how you pronounce his name, is really good. Bayakov could be in here. He's not, and it's going to be a free kick for offside. We've got a good good team. Bar's a really good little player. They've almost scored. Concerned, <laughs> slightly. We're playing on Mac. I'm trying to remember to put him in for all the cup games. Sometimes I forget. But I want to try and give as much game time as possible in the cup. And Bayakov again, he is overperforming. He hate. He, oh wait, he hates uh, individual training, despite us training him to get better at shooting, which is his job. Bit odd. I guess we just go attack in movement, maybe. No, he's a right at that. Maybe aerial. Let's go aerial. Why not? Um. He's he's only going to go up in value, and I hope we can get sort of. Uh, if we can get 25 mil for him, I'll let him go. Because we've got more players coming in, hopefully soon. Okay, Lopez picks up the ball after the corner. Goalkeeper claims it. Excuse me, I'm so tired. I woke up uh, really early today. I had to drive to Southampton, which is quite ironic given who we're playing, to drive for my dad's hospital appointment. So we woke up at half six in the morning, which is fantastic. Good sun like that. Right. Come on, we're half hour in. We've got not been been a few highlights, but not been any clear cut chances. Although we might have one here. Bayakov going for oh, not a good effort in the end. That's his nine fin is it nine fin no eleven finishing. Yeah. Caruso's not having a good game. I might swap him round. Guess they're a bit more natural in that position, aren't they? I 
think Bayakov might have just scored again. He has. Oh my, Vinicius Junior this time with the assist. So there's Rodriguez with the free kick over to Caruso. He pulls it across the line to Vinicius and Bayakov just cleans up. Okay, fair enough. Good, good little, uh, good goal. Nothing spectacular, but all that matters is we got the win. Or not the win. 2-1 two, two up, away from home in the first leg. The second leg isn't for about I think we've got four games between this and the second leg. I actually was going to do them all back-to-back, -back, but um, sort of like skip the Premier League game and come back for the second leg, but obviously there's four games. I'll probably just do it in the next episode. Rodriguez. Good save. Are they going to launch a counter-attack now? Oh, it might be. Crosby and to Piemonte. Oh, why is he so good? What's his finishing? 14. I mean, it's better than our players, isn't it? Oh, okay. Been a bit more open. Than maybe I would have liked. Skip, whenever... I like Barr, and he's actually a very good player, but I feel like Skip just has that extra defensive solidity. We always... When we don't have him, we miss him, is what I mean by this. He's, he doesn't do anything spectacular, but when he's not in the team, we always struggle. Crosby's got a chance to launch it forward to Piemonte, who scores again. Ah. Gonna bring in Fernandez for something slightly different, a bit more of a, uh, a bit more maybe going forward. I think we might actually switch to this as well. So. Um... I think we'll go like that. Okay, we've still got, still got a lot of time left. We've still time to get into this game. We've been defensively really poor this game. I think Barr might have to come off anyway. He's on a book-in. Caruso, though, an opportunity to get a ball into the box and Bayakov with his chance to get his hat-trick. Demand more from the boys. We're actually going to up our tempo and... Oh, who's injured? Fernandez just bought you on, mate. What are you doing? All right, actually, let's bring on Skip so that we can give more freedom to Lopez and Renato Augusto. Yeah. Okay. Maybe our line was too high. We both them, two of them goals. They just launched a ball over the top. So I bought this. This system has a lower defensive line, which might help. I go attacking now. We've sort of fifteen minutes left. Can we nick the ball? Oh, we're not quite. Okay, good nick. Okay, nick the ball really well. Vinicius Junior now have a chance to run at the goalkeeper. Good save from Muller. That will probably be the highlight now. May all their subs on Loftus Cheeks come off. Okay, come on, show some passion, guys. We need to. If we can get that next away goal. Ugh. Do I have a game changer on the bench? No. Mm. Come on. Come on. Five minutes of added time. There's plenty of time to get back into this. They have a free kick. Can we counter-attack from this free kick? It's Ward Prowse. He's going to score it. It's 4-2. Ooh. Okay, there's still a highlight here with a minute left. Probably going to be a pointless highlight, but you never know. We don't need to see this. The ball's gone out of play for a throw-in. Come on. I know it's pointless, but I've got that little bit of hope. El Mac, you need to do something with this. Okay, out to Rodriguez, Vinicius. If you're, oh, what a terrible pass! This is so frustrating. Three-two loss, a pretty close game as well. We appreciate their efforts. We absolutely do not appreciate their their efforts. That was awful. Defensively, very weak. Fernandez is out for four weeks. Brilliant. Lopez's fitness concern. I thought we'll rest him for the next match. Slams team. And why is El Mac telling the press? Like, come on, bro. He's out the door anyway. We've got two goalkeepers. Um, Park, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just show you. Um, how do we... Okay, Park. He's in our under 23s at the moment. Um, Park Nam Wu. Good goalkeeper, playing very regular football for Hetafe in the top division of Spain. Not playing particularly well, but to be fair, Getafe are low in the league, 15th. But he's playing regular first-team football. 
He's also got eight caps for South Korea, which means he has a work permit. I think I want him to play regular first team football, but maybe next season or the season after, he's going to be second choice. You know, El Mac, we want to try and sell him on for a bit of money. Um, you can see we've got oh, this guy. I want him in my team for the next game. But anyway, let's just quickly have a look what we got here. Thompson on loan. Are they in League 1? League 2. No, you're alright, mate. Oh, I guess we may as well. Suzuki on loan to Vala Deloitte as a squad player. 100% of his wages? Absolutely. So, that will be the end of this episode. I'm get, I'm going to try and record a few today. It's Friday now that I'm recording. Um, I want to try and record a few to sort of sort out for the rest of the week because after this i'm going to be recording the next episode of uh oh hello he's like nisbet he's basically the same as nisbet wow they're not the same at all nisbet is much better well, he is two years older i want to scout him and we'll keep him on the short list but i'm not sure if he's ever going to get anywhere uh, there's a lot of 24 to go through, I'm not going to do it on camera. Um, what I'll do, like I said, I'm recording a few of these in a row, I'll probably do one more. Um, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. Please check out Heavy Rain. It's actually really quite interesting. The first episode was a bit boring, I have to give it, but it was building up the story. Uh, second episode got a little bit more interesting, a couple of little uh, fight scenes going on. And I'm hoping it's going to continue. It looks like there's, you know, it's a bit of a mystery, crime solving uh, could be really good. I'm expecting the next episode to be really good anyway. I'm going to play that later on today. And record that later on today. This guy's got kind of a good Premier Division level. Oh, he's got some really bad negatives though. Nah. You're alright. Oh. This guy. He's not great going forward. But apart from being injury prone. Consistent. 17 years old. I found him by going through the... Um, 17 year olds who have under 21 caps or youth caps when i'm always looking at players i generally look at technicals and physicals i never really look at mentals and this guy's mentals are insane i am interested i don't think he's gonna cost a fortune i think but let's just test the water <laughs> Test the water with that, five mil, see what they say, but anyway, like I said, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like on the video, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, take care, and goodbye.